So, so right now we're fixing it. We're fixing it, taking cut part of this dead tree down. I'm gonna slide this brush over the top of it, so uh, that way the cows will have something to scratch on. Shane had surgery, oral surgery yesterday. Um, he had to have a tooth pulled and he can't bend over. He can't pick up anything. Um, so Kayla and I are gonna have to do all the work today and he's just operating the tractor. Shane's fixing to come through here. You see how she's lifting her tail up? They always make that noise when they're breed. He's not hurting her. That is part of the breeding process. She flips her tail up and then, but Shane's fixing to interrupt the process with the track for God love them. Here they are breeding. You better hurry, Henry. Daddy's coming through with the tractor. Look, he ain't gonna stop. Oh, she got up. All right. All the animals are like, what is this? So let me show you the plan. So, so right now we're fixing it. We're fixing it, taking cut part of this dead tree down. I'm gonna slide this brush over the top of it, so uh, that way the cows will have something to scratch on. So the plan is to take that and stick it on that tree right there. We got these bystanders over here watching what's going on, trying to figure out what their daddy's doing and what they're fixing to get. All right, I gotta help him get it in this tree. Gotta slide it on that tree. I'm probably gonna have to help. Oh, it's nerve wracking. He does this by himself without my help. I'm gonna be surprised. Do I need to do anything? You about got it. It's so nerve wracking. You gotta get turned right. All right. He's got it on there. <laughs> now he's just gotta back that tractor up, and make it fall. Look at him. Look at him. He did it. Amazing. What do we do before tractors? That's all I want to know. Congratulations, Shane. Good job. All right. I guess the rain and stuff will get the mud off. But I can't wait to see Dexter out here and Dee Dee 
out here scratching. It's gonna be a good day. Thank you to the Coleman County Road Department for donating these for my farm animals. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> Y'all got something new. Yes, you did. Y'all got something new. He's over there cutting that tree. And we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side of the fencing so they have two places to scratch when you separate the animals and so forth. So you can see it's separated by fence. to knock down that tree with the tractor apparently. You better not hit my fence, that's all I gotta say. Let's see what he's doing. I'm gonna try to push it. Hey. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's going between the tree and then he's gonna push it over. told y'all that Shane can do absolutely anything from plumbing to electric to welding to knocking down trees building Shane can do anything so poor Kayla is gonna have to pick up all this wood for Shane because he can't lean over it and pick it up so while I'm gone to take my dad we're working as a team between Kayla, Shane, and I. So he's cutting it up, and Kayla, when she gets here at noon, will pick it up to help us out.
look what I found while we were out here, out here doing all this work. I found my other glove. Yay. All right, one brush down, one to go. But I told Shane, I have to leave this house in 10 minutes. So he thinks that we can do this in 10 minutes and I think he's crazy as a Betsy bug, but he seems to think we could do this. So here we go. On the countdown. Can we do this in 10 minutes? I'm thinking not. I know one thing. I had to shed that jacket. I'm about to burn up from doing all this work. All right. Eight minutes. On the countdown. Can Shane and I do this in eight minutes? I guess if I just get him into the farm area, then he can kind of do it himself. And then when Kayla get, gets here, she can kind of help him get out of the fence so the animals don't run out. All right, he's through the gate. Through the gate. Ooh. Goodness. Go to the other side. You notice he has the rake on the back of the tractor and he plans to rake this field because of all the ice and the wetness everything just looks a muddy mess. So Shane's gonna fix the two pastures for us so that every, see all this hay built up? <laughs> the goats are loving the sticks. All right, here we go. Here he is. Okay. Maybe we can do this in 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe we can. It sure is gonna look like it. All right, here. Here's a pole. So, I've got to help him navigate this, but I put my daggum jacket on. I've got to get out of the way. Okay. Let me go. Let me go assist. He told me not to get under it, so I don't know if he wants me to help or not. All right, take two.
Are y'all disappointed? But the answer is no, we could not do that in 10 minutes because I have got to leave to take Larry to radiation. Today, the reason we're leaving early, we normally leave about 10.30, 10.50, but I'm having to leave at 9.30 this morning because we have a Zoom doctor's appointment at 11 o'clock. Well, I can't be driving for a Zoom doctor's appointment. So I have to go early, so that my car is sitting still when we have this appointment. So we are juggling, trying to do things. So the best thing to do for Shane is to wait on Kayla. She'll be here at noon and I won't be back till about 1.30 with my dad. Your takeaway from the situation is trying to do things within a short amount of time. Because what happens is when you try to do things in a short amount of time and it doesn't happen, frustration sets in. And then you find yourself mad at everything, frustrated, stressed, anxiety, tension in your shoulders and head from trying to hurry. And it's not good to do that because you're setting expectations that can't be met. So don't do what Shane and I do. He's already gone to radiation and I'm waiting on the doctor to um, call me to have a tello, whatever you call it, where the doctor calls and talks to you and she's running late. 